Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Santiago. I'm really glad that you're back here seeing another tutorial. In the previous video, we were checking out a software called Deep Brain AI. This is a software that is used to create videos. If you haven't checked out that video, I really invite you to go to the channel, subscribe and check it out so you can get up to speed on how this software works. But if you're new here, this software is used to create videos. You can do that a bunch of different ways. You can do it by using one of the avatars that the software has in its library. You can do it with text prompts. You can do it with URL links. You can do it with files like you're seeing on screen right now, for example, a PDF or a PPT file. You can record your screen. You can create product avatar videos. But what we're going to be doing today is creating a video using a URL specifically from a blog post so to see what the software does. And just as a reminder, I'm using one of the paid plans of the software. If you want to use one of those plans as well, there are some affiliate links on the description box down below for you guys to use. And without further ado, I'm going to make my face disappear so you can see my screen better and I'll see you guys in the end. So this is the brain's homepage. As always, these are all of the tools that we can use to create videos. These are the projects that we have been playing around with. In the previous video, we created a really short and concise avatar video using the script that we created using the software as well. Once again, if you haven't checked out that video, I really invite you to go to the channel and check it out. And on this video, we're going to be using another of the tools that the software has. This one right here that says URL to video. If we click on it, we're taken to this other screen. We could make, for example, a video using a URL from Amazon, for example, a product video, or for example, a news article from CNN or BBC. But what we're going to be doing today is going to a blog post. This is a cooking blog that I read sometimes. It is called Pinch of Yum. We can pick out from a bunch of different blog posts. For example, if we want to use this one, the house favorite chicken parmesan, we could paste the URL right here. We can click on next and we can do a bunch of different stuff before we create the video. We can pick out from all of these different templates that the software has. You can change in which kind of group you're looking for the template. Right now we're in business, but we could look out, for example, at education templates. We could look out at YouTube and TikTok templates as well. This one looks more like what we're looking for. Then we're going to pick out that template. We can leave the language in auto or specify which language is being spoken in that URL that we're using. On duration, we can pick out from auto all the way to three minutes. I'm going to be creating a 30 second video. You can further specify the objective, the audience, the tone and the speed of your video. And you can pick out from a bunch of different avatars to appear in your video. I'm going to be picking Alicia for this specific video. You can change the way in which the video looks, if it is portrait or landscape. Let's leave it on landscape as of now. And once everything's looking like you want it to, you can just click on next for the software to process the URL. So the software is automatically going to create some scenes. As of now, it created four different scenes for us to play around with. In each specific scene, we have the script. This is the script for the first scene. This is the script for the second scene and so on. It is right now generating the captions for us to play around a bit more. We need to wait for the software to generate the captions so we can go to the editor. It has already created them so we can click on this option. If you were to create the video without editing anything, you could just click on export or you could go back and change the options of the final video. If you click on editor, you're taken to this other screen that we were checking a bit on the previous video as well. You can preview each of the scenes with this play option on the bottom. Hey everyone, have you ever wondered how much of your personal information is really safe online? With cookies and tracking tools lurking everywhere, it's like we're living in a digital fishbowl. 
as you see we are using the voice of the avatar that we picked she is not visible as of now but if we click on model right here we can look for her once again i believe it was this one if i'm not mistaken we can add her right here if we want her to be not on top of the captions we can right click and make it so she is sent backward we can make it so she is behind the captions and we can add her to any of the scenes if we wanted to you can also change the way that the voice is being spoken if we click on this option on the right right here the person speaking is hayden the model's original voice since we selected her now the voice is going to be different hey everyone have you ever wondered how much of your personal information or you can change it so it is the specific voice that you want. If you click on this option right here, you can also record your own voice for you to use on the video. Or once again, you can pick from a bunch of different voices in the library. You can further specify how you want the voice to be. If you select the language, if you select the accent, you can get specifically the voice that you want and you can change the avatar any way you want as well. As I showed you in previous videos, you can also add text in this part of the editor. You can change the captions. You can change the media any way you want it to. For example, let's say I want to change the media for this second. If I make it really big, it is going to be the background of our entire scene. And if I send it backward, it's going to be not on top of the captions, but on the bottom of them. You can search from a bunch of different images and videos from the library using Pixabay or Shutterstock. You can search for specific audio pieces as well. You can also import your own assets for you to get the video that you want. You can, for example, import images, videos or audio as well. You can add shapes to further emphasize some information on the video or you could generate a specific image or video using the software right here. If you describe what you want the image to be or the video to be, you can make the software create that asset and then use it on your video. We have some inspiration right here that we can pick from. And if we click on random, the software is going to randomly create some other prompts for us to use in our video. Right here on the bottom right, we have some other options. You can create a script using uh, ChatGPT. It is included inside of this software as well. If you generate a script based on the topic of the video, it is going to be produced right here on the bottom. We can make the scene speed faster or slower. We can add effects or we can add pauses between our scenes. And once everything's looking like we want it to, we can just click on export. And then the software, once again, is going to take a couple of minutes to produce our video. So the software has already created the video. We can check it out using this option that says view video. Hey everyone, have you ever wondered how much of your personal information is really safe online? With cookies and tracking tools lurking everywhere, it's like we're living in a digital fishbowl. But here's the kicker. Are we okay with that? I mean, we love convenience. Who doesn't enjoy personalized ads or recommendations? But at what cost? And let's not forget the controversies. Just look at the uproar over data privacy laws. Some say they protect us, while others argue they stifle innovation. So what do you think? Is it time to take back control or is the digital trade-off worth it? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Remember your data is valuable. Let's keep the conversation going. So this is the video that the software creates. We can do some stuff right here on this screen. You can copy the link if you wanna share it with some coworker, for example in this social media platform for example you can download it if you want to save it locally into your computer and then share it that way you can change the language of the original video using the ai dubbing into a bunch of different languages that the software has in its library you can leave a comment or you can promote the video so it reaches a bigger audience as you saw creating a video using this software is really easy the software is really intuitive. We created a really short and concise video using just some of the tools of the software. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I really invite you to go to the channel and do so, so you can get up to speed on what other functionalities the software has. Just as a reminder, there are some affiliate links in the description box down below for you guys to use. I want to read all of your comments down below to see if you've used this software or if you're planning on doing so. Once again, my name is Santiago, and without further ado, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.